Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. It's me, SL Rockfish. Thank you for joining me here on the SL Rockfish YouTube channel, also known as the SL Rockfish English Makes No Sense channel. And sometimes we do reading with Rockfish. All together, welcome. So glad you could join me. Today we're going to take a look at some homophones. Huh? Yeah, homophones. Words that sound exactly alike. Homo meaning the same. Phone phonetically. So you can hear it. Okay. We hear the sounds exactly the same. And they're spelled differently, but have totally different meanings. <laughs> I know it's English. <laughs> We're just going to look at two words. Now I did a bit of the, on these two words on TikTok, but you know, you only have 60 seconds. So this is a little deeper dive. So here we go. The words that I'm looking for are whole and whole. Huh? Yeah, no, whole. We have whole, H-O-L-E, a hollow place in a hard body or surface, you know, like a to dig a hole, a hole in your head, a hole in the wall, a hole in a tire, a hole in your pocket. Then we have same pronunciation, but a W in front of it. Why? I don't know. It's a silent W, which doesn't often happen, unless the word is who or whole, the, meaning the entire thing, all of it, all of something, the whole thing, like, I can't believe I ate the whole pizza. All of it. Now, that should be easy to remember, right? This is a noun, and this is an adjective. Easy peasy. Now, here are some sayings that have both whole in it, H-O-L-E, and W-H-O-L-E. So, here we have a little homonyms and we have the sayings, maybe some idioms as it were. So we have a sayings with hole. We have ace in the hole, something that gives you the edge. Our quarterback is our ace in the hole. Or we have a hole in one. If you play golf, I don't, but if you play golf, it's a shot straight into the tee with no, no other shots in the like you tee off and it goes off the tee and goes right into the cup. Ta-da, it's a hole in one. Or a watering hole. Hey, want to go to the watering hole? I know I sure do, but with Corona, we can't really go there. Bars or taverns, places you go for drinks. Couldn't we all use a little bit of a drink here, then? Or we have a square peg in a round hole. Huh? How can you fit a square peg in a round hole? That's used to describe someone who does not fit in well with a job or situation. You know, like having me be a cheerleader on a, in high school. That was a square peg in a round hole. Play sports? Yes. Be the, on the cheerleading team? Couldn't do it. So I was a square peg in a round hole. Then we have blow a hole in. Like you tell your parents, I was out late, but uh, we had, because we were having trouble with the car, they're going to blow a hole in your, in your story. It means to destroy it, to destroy something. They're going to blow a hole in your story when they see there's nothing wrong with the car. Then we have a hole in the wall. A hole in the wall? Yeah. Why do we want a hole in the wall? Hole in the walls, in this case, are good. A hole in the wall is a small, not too good looking, slightly run down bar or restaurant. They're usually hidden away or something. Go, hey, you want to go to that hole in the wall down by 6th and National? Yeah, I want to go by that hole in the wall. It means it's a fun place to go. Got good food, good drinks, somewhere nice to go, fun to go but it's a hole in the wall. You don't usually see it. I don't even know why they use that, but that's the way we use it. Then we have pigeonhole, the verb. If you pigeonhole somebody, sounds painful, doesn't it? Pigeon, and a hole. But if you pigeonhole somebody, it's to have an unfair, narrow opinion of what someone is, or what, what someone or something is. You don't want to be pigeonholed. People, you can only do that. He's a great writer. And that's all he can do. That's pigeonholing somebody. Maybe he's good at comedy. Maybe he's good at singing. Don't know. So those are my expressions with whole, H-O-L-E. Not all of them had, very few had anything to do with a hollow place in a hard body or surface. Why are there so many with whole? I don't know. There's some other ones that are not family friendly. You could look them up. Then we have sayings with whole, W-H-O-L-E. Whole milk. 
milk that has it all. No fat taken out, no nothing. It's whole milk. I don't like whole milk. I used to love it as a kid, but now it uh, 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 clogs up the old arteries. All right, then we have the whole nine yards. Like, we went shopping, and then we went out to eat. We did the whole nine yards. We did everything. Then we have as a whole. When you look at the entirety all together. Like, as a whole, we did very well. Like, in entirety of thing, we did well. We might have had some bad times here and there, but as a whole, our childhood was amazing. Then, out of whole cloth. Now, I have have had this used to me. Like, hmm, that sounds like you're making it up out of whole cloth. I'm not a seamstress. But to make something up or to do something out of whole cloth is when someone makes something up. Pure fabrication. Oh, fabric. Cloth. Synonyms. Huh. Sometimes English does make sense. Then we have the whole shebang. Everything available. I wonder why they have shebang. Shebang, shebang. Ba -da 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 -da. So the whole shebang. That's everything available. Like, oh, we went to the mall. We did this and that. And then we went out to eat. And we did the whole shebang. Or to go whole hog. To do thoroughly or completely. We went whole hog to the, the Packer game. We got everything. We got the ride, the ticket, the luxury box. Never have happened. I've only been to one Packer game. Okay. Then we have a whole slew. A very large amount. A whole slew. Like we had a whole slew of ideas. A very large amount. Then we had, these are all like lots and lots. A whole kit and caboodle. Everything possible. We went to the store and we got the things to make the dinner. We got the whole kit and caboodle from appetizers to dessert. Then we have on the whole with everything considered. When someone says, well, on the whole of it, I think we did the right idea. Or we did the right action. I mean, everything is considered on the whole. On the whole, I think your candidate may be right. Or on the whole, I think your candidate may be wrong. Then we have wholehearted. That is to go in with all one's heart. Totally committed. I'm wholeheartedly endorsing you. He was wholehearted in his uh, love of team and friends. Now, that's whole. That's a lot of sayings with whole. That's almost the whole kitten caboodle, but it's not. Wait, there's more. Now, we're going to do a little poem because, you know, I got to start with, start, end with one. Okay, we have whole versus whole. <gasps> Ooh, I know. Sorry, the poetry is a little rusty, but here we go. I hope it helps to remember which one is which, which will be a later one closer to Halloween. Which, which? Whole versus whole. One is often in the ground. The other is all around. A hole can be dug, worn, or cut. The hole can be made of what? Anything in its entirety. A hole can be where you want it to be. But here are some places they do not belong. Your pocket, a tire, or even a song. If you have holes in any of these places, the hole cannot be because of the spaces. A hole leaves behind a mark or a blemish. But when it is mended, the whole thing is finished. What? Come on, English. Peace.